Understanding the curvature of splines or other curves is essential for creating smooth flowing surfaces. When you create a spline, you can manipulate the spline handles or add tangency to other curves, but you can't see how this affects the quality of your spline. If you now right click a curve and select Show Curvature, a dialog appears in the top left corner and a curvature comb is displayed on your curve. A slider in the dialog lets you change the scale if you need to see the curvature in more detail. Clicking out of the dialog will keep the curvature displayed and enable you to modify the spline and see the change in curvature immediately. A longer curvature comb means an area of higher curvature or smaller radius. As the comb gets shorter, your curve has less curvature or a bigger radius. If the comb crosses your curve, that is where you have an inflection point or a kink in your curve. If you adjust the spline handle so that your curvature is almost constant along the length of the curve, then your curve is closer to an arc, which makes for smoother looking surfaces. Activating another command, like adding a constraint, will close the curvature dialog. If you create surfaces with these curves and turn on curvature visualization, you will see where the curves meet. The zebra stripes line up, but they change direction at the boundary. This means that the surfaces are tangent. If you go back to the sketch and display the curvature of both curves, you can use the spline handles to line up the curvature combs between both curves. If the combs are the same length, then the curves are curvature continuous. It doesn't have to be precise. When you display the surfaces once more, you can see that the zebra stripes flow smoothly across the boundary, giving you a much better quality of surface.